Hello there, this is DBT, and these are the rooms. And alright, let's play some more Asphalt 8, but you might notice that there's something slightly different in this video, and that is that there is chat on the screen, what? Chat on the screen, what is happening? Well, you see, it's sort of an experiment that I'm doing over here, and who knows when this video is going live, so hey, this probably happened like a week ago, two weeks ago, a month ago, who knows? But yeah, nice, nice one, Matt. All right, so what we're doing today is actually going into some multiplayer. We're going to do Master Season. Finally, I got out of the um, Beginner League or Silver League that I was in Classic, but we're focusing on Master Season. And today we're going to be trying Underdog versus Upper Dogs. I don't know what to call them. <laughs> also, let me make sure that my boosters are still going. Uh, let's do 15-minute boosters. Uh, hold up, hold up. Might as well. I mean... Yeah, but no, maybe maybe I should do the 10 more minutes, right? All right, let's do two of these for 10 minutes. Don't mind me with my, you know, my uh, tons of boosters that I just use in strange ways. I'd rather use a 15 and 10 minutes than the 30 minutes. I, I, I can understand myself, all right? Don't worry about it. But yeah, what we're going to be doing is using cars that are technically underdogs, because you know that in Master League, you're going to be facing cars of Class S also. Um, so what we're doing is doing some Class A, in particular, we're going to try a couple of the Lambos that are not even, you know, the best Lambos in Class A. But we're just going to try it and see what we can do. Starting with the Lambo Egoista, because I've, it's, um, you know, I've said it. I don't love the look of this Lambo. I don't think it's necessarily the most beautiful Lambo or anything, but I would say it's one of the most interesting ones. <laughs> Chad saying over here that it's November 1st. They're dating it. Yes. <laughs> all right, so we're going to do the Egoista and see what it does. You know how it goes. Um, I'll skip all the loading so that you don't have to suffer it. It's only Chad and myself that will have to suffer it. So, yeah. All right, perfect. So, Terra 9. So, meaning space-looking track or futuristic-looking track with a futuristic-looking car. Let's see what I can do. I honestly wasn't even paying attention what I'm going to be racing against. But, you know. It's fine. It's fine. There's a Tomahawk, there's a Devo, and my Egoista. So, this car... I actually, for the longest time, I did not have it at Pro. I had it at a weird... Oh, I had it at 1600... Well, 1666. And I used to call it the Evil List. And I don't know why did I miss that, that Nitro Bottle over there, but it's fine. Um, I never wanted to Pro it, mostly because I knew that this car wasn't going to be an amazing car or anything. And I was just more interested in having it rather than, ooh, trying to Pro it. But at some time, at some point when I actually had the resources for it, I started working on it and eventually I proed it. And then it became my objective to pro all of my Lambos. Um, then the change happened with the brackets and all of that. And, I, uh, and then I thought like, hey, it's good that I didn't actually pro some of the Lambos. But unfortunately, it was too late for some, some cars like the, um, the Gallardo, which I did pro before the brackets were a thing. And now it suffers because it gets matched against cars of country. Whoa! That Eddie guy just pass me by like that okay sure it's fine i mean all things considered fourth place i'll take it i'll take it i know from chad the egoista nickname for both asphalt 10 and asphalt 9 is either the fork or the screaming fork what why i don't know all right so devo cn and centenario beat me i did beat a triple boosted cn and a triple boosted senna and unboosted tomahawk and that's it. All right. I, I, all things considered, I would say that's a decent result. But all right. Let's see what happens in the next one. How about that? Space track. Now, proper space track with my space looking car. In reality, um, supposedly, the, the Egoist is not meant to look like a space car. Instead, it's meant to look like a, like a fighting jet type of deal. That was the inspiration. That's why it has like a cockpit and a crosshair and all of that nonsense. But, you know, it's fine. I see Cyan, Silver Lightning, Adibo. And what is that slow car? Jesus Christ. <clears throat> oh, and excuse me if I'm just clearing my throat a bunch. I'm drinking water, but... You know, my voice is being... Whatever. All right, I'm not going to risk it for those those um, barrel rolls. Very often I do them way too high and then end up crashing on the ceiling. So. Come on. Come on, Egoista. Come on, you weird beauty. See, it's not ugly. It is just beauty challenge. That's all. Maybe we can call it the ugly. Is that? Oh, rape! Someone wrecked! 
Well, sorry for you, buddy. I'm so sorry to see you dying, but I can say that I'm sad. Can I keep a third place? Probably. It seems that everybody else is really far behind. So a third place should be... Ah! Should be possible, but I'm running out of nitro, so that's not fantastic. I have enough time to build a little bit, but... Oh, Jesus. All right. You know, a little bit of a messy end of the race right there, but third place, I'll take it. They tried fighter jet twice. One was just more convincing. Hugo, is this the most unique Lambo because of, it looks crazy? Yeah, no, for sure. It absolutely looks crazy. I'll give you that. Um, all right. So, Asien and uh, Aston Martin beat me, but I beat... A uh, single boosted Ultima and unboosted Cyan. And even though it's unboosted, you know, it's still quite a bit higher in rank than my, than me, so hey. Uh, Silver Lightning, Bugatti Devo, unboosted Silver Lightning, and that's it. Alright, good result overall, I would say. Holding on. Alright, now we have reached the Great Wall with the chocolate statue that doesn't load the textures. Why not? Um... So I don't know. I, I don't. You know that I don't love the China tracks, especially if it's a version with the with the big bank uh, curb. I hate it because so often cars love to. Whoa! Okay, okay. So apparently today I decided to use those guys as a ramp. That is fine. I'm glad I caught that on, on on video. Oh, this is the version without the the bank turn. Awesome, awesome. Then I can do relatively alright here. It's just that even stable cars, they love to skid in that bank turn if you do a tiny little drift. It's like, oh, you want a small drift? How about you just fall into the pit? Why not? Oh, boy. Oh, Jesus. There's a really fast car right behind me, so I'm gonna try to open the path for him to pass me. If he needs to pass me, I'd rather him... Get the position, then knocking me down. I said, oh, you little mother... It's all right. We're okay. So much for... Oh, I'm going to let him pass. Whatever, man. Whatever. <sighs> oh, look at that. Even the ad doesn't know what he's doing anymore. I think it's a... Uh, uh, um, as What is that word when you are... Flustered. It's as flustered as I am. All right. It's fine. It's fine. All right. So that was what? Three races with the Egoista. That's fine. Um, let's try a different card no, now. Um, there's other Lambos that I can use over here. So, yeah. Okay. Let me just... Oh, that was actually a Lycan uh, Halloween edition. Nice. I, I see a whale. <laughs> Man, I really, I was thinking of buying it, because it's a Halloween car. You know, I fucking love Halloween stuff, so. Fine. Um, which car is my favorite? Veneno. 100% Veneno, of course. All right, so now we're going to use another Lambo. Also on the rank, the Lamborghini Aventador Coupe. Now, this is an interesting one, because it's, I think it's uh, probably one of the starter cars in, the starter cars in the game. You know, when the game was released, I think this was one of the cars that was back then. So, probably it did get rebalanced over time, but I'm curious how it performs nowadays. And we're in Dubai. Actually, it's kind of fine, right? Because Dubai has a lot of hypercars, so suddenly my beautiful bright green um, Aventador doesn't look so out of place. I would think so. I would think so. All right, let's see. I see a Cian, a Chent, and Nairo. You know what? Okay. I did triple tap Nitro, and even then... You could see that, <laughs> yeah, no, it's an old car, come on. I can, I can hate him, or hate it, for it. Wait, somehow I'm in third place, so, that is dope. Maybe I, there's only a few really strong cars over here, maybe everybody else isn't boosted, I don't know how, how I am in third place, but hey, not complaining. I think I kept the green color from a stream where we were doing green cars. I think. Because otherwise, I don't know why I would make this car green. It really seems like a strange color choice. I don't love that color on this car, but... 
There we go. What is the best card that I have? The Yesco, probably. Probably. Um, back then, there were only 5S class cards. Now, there's 25 to 35. That's how much the game has developed. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Absolutely. And, all right, let's see the results. Oh, yeah, like I expected. They, they were unboosted. So, then no wonder why I was third place. Still, I did beat the Silver Lightning, so I take that as a W. Fuck it. I'll go with it. All right, we are into German areas, German grounds, which is kind of curious because Lamborghini, it's a company that right now is owned by a German brand. So, I don't know. Does that mean I'm home? I don't know, but here we are. All right, let's see what we can do. I didn't quite pay attention which version. Oh, oh, it's the rooftop raceway. Oh, damn. Let's see how many people are going to... I'm going to get out of the way. Please don't mind me. I'm just trying to accelerate. Trying to get a little bit of speed with this little old... Carcacha, as we say in Spanish. Oh, no, 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 fuck <laughs> Hold up, hold up, hold up. Ah! <laughs> All right, I did not know that was possible, but I'll say that was on purpose, and that gave me a second place. How about that? Pure skill, everybody. Pure skill, I'm telling you. <laughs> All right, let's, let's keep it together. Can we keep the second place? Honestly, I don't know that this car will be able to do the loopy section properly. But I guess we're going... Oh, the f***ing hell! Uh, so much for my second place. Oh, yeah, a little bit of punch drift, and you're, you're through the section. Oh, man. This could have been so good. And instead, it went so wrong. If a Ferrari bought another company, their only goal would be to ruin it. That sounds kind of right. <laughs> oh man, what a what a terrible, terrible situation was this race. All right, let's do one more race. One more race with this thing and see if we can make it shine a little bit. Jesus. All right, Rio de Janeiro. This could be good or bad. It's a short track, so maybe that could help me out a little bit. But at the same time... With the terrible acceleration in the short track, I'm not sure that how that's gonna go, but... I wouldn't be too bothered if the game actually puts me... Oh yeah, I'm in last place! That's exactly what I was gonna say. If I'm in the last place, then... Oh, come on, dude. Then there's no problem, because there's no risk of getting knocked down. And at least I get to build my speed over time. Which is better than getting knocked down and, you know, all of that nonsense. So, so good, so good. Ah! I'm absolutely not used to this car. Jesus Christ. If it looks like I'm driving terribly, it's not me, all right? It is, um... Yes. The nitro duration also is not fantastic. Not, maybe not one of the worst, but... Hey, I'm fourth place. If someone else crashes, I might just get a podium. Come on. I believe in you guys. Please crash. Do it for me, man. No? Fine! Fourth place is fine! <laughs> Alright, so... Centenario beat me, Cian beat me, Centenario beat me. I did beat an Ultima that was triple boosted and fully upgraded. And yet, I still lost... Well, yeah, no, it makes sense, because we all are in the same league. Alright, that's fine. That's fine. Alright, let's, let's switch car to... A properly better performing Lambo. It's still gonna be an underdog. That's probably gonna be the title in this video. Something like the 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 underdog bulls or something like that. But you know, it's we're we're here to test what they can do in these weird multiplayer times. So let me actually select by brand. So with the this that veneno, we could do veneno. Okay, I'll do Veneno, that's fine. All right, we have reached Patagonia. And let's see what my Veneno can do. I was saying earlier that, earlier, by earlier I mean on stream rather than for you guys on YouTube. Um, I was saying that I really need to drive my Veneno a bit more because I, I have not been driving it for a very long time. Ever, oh, sorry buddy, I'm so sorry. How did my Veneno knock a class as F1 car? Anyway. Um, ever since I got 
uh, considerably bigger variety of cars in Class A, and I meant to take that ramp, but I missed it. Um, you know, I've not been using my Veneno a whole lot, because now I use the the SCV-12, I use the Countach, I, you know, a bunch of things. So, I really need to pay some more attention to my beauty, my Veneno. Not only is my favorite Lambo, this game is the one that introduced me to the Veneno, I believe. So, it holds a very special place in my heart. Look at this goddamn beauty. And somehow, I am in second place. I guess that is the power of Veneno. I don't know why I suddenly went a bit Arnold Schwarzenegger over there, but it's, it's all good. It's all good. Nice. Very nice. OP car, DBT. No, I would say OP DBT. How about that? <laughs> um, all right. Let's see what's waiting for us in the next race. Hold on. Hold on. I did beat the Batista, beat a Centenario, and I believe unboosted Batista. Oh, this is the guy that I knocked down. Okay, yeah, it's a low rank. That makes sense. Let's see. What, let's see what's waiting for us in the next one. All right, we have reached French Iguana. Yeah, if you switch a couple of letters over there, it says French Iguana. Um, again, with the Veneno, so let's see. I, I have faith. SVJ or Terzo. I will use the Terzo. That... Yes, Madara, I will use the Terzo, just because it's actually, even though it's a Class S, I have it tuned for Class A cars, or Class A races, so in theory, it's still going to be considerably um, underpowered, so it's an underdog. Pretty good for the for the theme of this video, huh? SBJ, well, technically the SBJ is also underpowered, not as underpowered as Class A, ah! as I am using right now, but it is also underpowered, so we could do that too. Fourth place, all right. So far, so good. Oh, what? He didn't take that one in the middle. All right, thank you. I appreciate that. No, oh, boy. Come on. Come on. I hate these little rolly thingies because they're so random in multiplayer. Sometimes they come at really strange angles, particularly when you're going forward in this track. It's so difficult to dodge them sometimes, but fourth place, how about that? Okay, so uh, Batista, two paradise, beat me, that's fine. All electric. Ugh. I beat a FXX Evolution in class A. We both beat a two W's, W Fender Super Sports. Cool, good result. How many races have I done with this car chat? I have no idea. Has it been two? It's been two, right? I don't know. Yeah, Kenshiro, take care, dude. Thank you for dropping by, my dude. Um, it was Veneno that wasn't the first Asphalt 8 logo. Yep, yeah, it was. I'm telling you, this game is the one that introduced me to, to the Veneno. So. It has been three races already. Oh, well, I guess we're doing a fourth one. Oops. We're back again to, to German ground. Let's see if this time I can avenge my poor, poor Aventador with the beautiful, beautiful Veneno. They're actually, those two cars are um, contemporary. The, the original Aventador, if I remember, was released in 2011 and the Veneno was released in 2013, so only a couple of years later. So yeah, sort of contemporary. All right. I don't see the train. Where's the train? I'm nervous, I don't see the train. There it is. It's just that when there's, uh, when multiplayer you see, oh, fuck, I touched the, ah, oh, man. No, I'm so sorry, Veneno. I don't know why I did this to you. It's okay. We'll suffer in silence over here. Um, what was I saying? Ah, oh, damn it, I already forgot. See, chat? This is what happens when I'm recording. I just completely forget what I'm saying. It's fine. It's fine. Eh, fifth place. I mean, I did beat six more people, but... <clears throat> okay, so... I'm not gonna look at who beat me. I'm just gonna be look at who I beat. Uh, double boosted, Fenner, 
as the end with a single boost, Chento DH, triple boosted. All right, well, I mean, I still beat a couple of people, so that's that's all right. But that's enough with the Veneno. I'm so sorry, Veneno, that the very last race was so bad. I'm sorry. I am so sorry. All right, so it's time to switch to another Lambo. And instead of going for, you know, SCP 12s and all of that, I'm going to go like I got to request a little earlier here in chat to use a Terzo Milenio because it is a beauty. Oh, yeah. And, you know, I have a tune for class A races. So this is definitely something that um, normally would do pretty good competition over there. But we'll see how it goes. Again, I'm racing against a lot of class S's, so I don't think this is going to go great. And we're back in space. You know, I keep saying I don't absolutely do terrible in this track, so... And, and you know what? I also have a space car this time, you know? I'm using the Terzo Milenio. Unfortunately, I can make it sound good and not just whine like a, like a electric, so check this out. Oh yeah, now it sounds like a V12 with an electric engine. I have made it into a hybrid. Oh yeah. I think you can hear it. I don't know if you can hear it or not. You can hear it, right? I believe so. Chat, can you hear the V12 or is it just me? Can I only hear it on my side? I think you should be able to. But suddenly the car doesn't feel as bad anymore, huh? That is why I love Asphalt Nitro 2, the, the version that... Oh, Jesus! No! Oh, you little mother... It's okay. It's okay. Um, in Asphalt Nitro 2, for some reason, they gave this car a Brumi engine, and I love it for it. I do. All right, all right. Well, in spite of that push, I am still determined to get a decent result. If I can keep um, the what's it called the the podium, I'll be happy with that. Oh, so you you can hear both. Oh wait. Someone wrecked! Someone wrecked! Oh! Maybe it was the dude that pushed me! You know what that's called? It's called f***ing karma, man! <laughs> oh yeah! Give me my second place! Give me my second place! Oh yeah, baby! Yeah! I mean... <clears throat> GG. GG. Oh. oh! There we go. My car suddenly stopped making noise. And we beat... I mean, the Arash, of all things, beat me. But I did beat the La Voiture Noir, uh, double boosted Ultima, uh, Silver Lightning boosted, double boosted Silver, FXXK triple boosted, Centenario triple boosted, holy smokes, we beat a bunch of things, huh? That is the power of the Terzo Milenio. <laughs> All right. It's fine. I'm telling you. Oh, you know what? We reached the next league, so it's going to take me to the multiplayer screen. And then only then I can resume because yes. So that means now from this point on, I'm actually going to be facing harder opponents because I think the first two leagues are the main, what would you call it? The main filter of the players with not a lot of experience. So from this point onward, probably is going to get pretty difficult for me, but that doesn't matter. We're still going to try because we're fighters, man. We're fighters. Oh, yeah. All right, we are in Monaco. I don't know why they still kept it as Monaco over there, but over here it says Azure Coast. So, yeah. Thank you, R Riso. I love you too, man. <laughs> All right. So, long track. Not great for my car that is going to be racing against considerably faster cars. But the Terzo Millennium does have some pretty fantastic Nitro. So, let's see if that's going to help me out. I don't know. Maybe we will get lucky. And, oh no, I'm running only on my electric engine. How about we turn the B12? Oh, yeah. See, the Terzo Millennium... DBT is predicting that the Terzo Millennium will have both a B12 and it will be a hybrid, B12 and electric. It can run only on electricity, but you want to... No! You want to trigger that or activate that, that B12 beauty. I mean, as expected, the faster cars eventually are going to catch up to me. Just because this is such a long track with such long straights that there's not a lot of opportunity to try to do some trickery and keep my position. But, you know, I'm still in fourth place, so... I'm not complaining about it, you know? Oh, wow, where did that third place go? Jesus! Did it go through the, um, through the vans? I mean, the, the buses? I don't know. Oh, oh. 
Oh, he was lagging. Okay, I thought I was gonna mess up. He was gonna mess up and I was gonna get my podium. It's fine, I don't care about podiums. Never did, not once. <laughs> alright, alright, fourth place, fourth place, it's uh... It's not too bad. Debo, Valid, and Gesco, two ultimates and a really strong um, class S beat me. I did beat an unboosted Tushek. I like in Hypersport Halloween Edition and a fair. No, the fair die is not fully upgraded. All right, so over here. So I really only beat two people. Ah, fine, whatever. Let's do one more race and then we'll switch car again. Oh, boosters are gone. You see, people, this is what happens. This is what happens. So much pausing in the recording so that you guys don't have to suffer through all the loading means that my boosters actually run out a bit faster. So that is unfortunately the situation. And I think, you know what, since we're already back in this menu and I still have to trigger some boosters, I think it's only fair to already switch the car. I'm sorry, my beauty Terzo Millennium, but we have to move on to the last car that we're featuring in this video. So let me just use some more 10 minute boosters over here. And then we will also switch the car to the most, well, the, the underpower but closest to the top bracket of Lambos, the Choco Lambo SBJ. So, all right, let's do it. And we're in Iceland. Now, the SBJ actually does have some pretty decent nitro, so maybe I won't be suffering as much over here. Iceland with something like the regular Aventador would be absolute pain, but over here with the SBJ, it should be doable. And then, oh, come on, get out of the way, dude. Jesus. Surprisingly, the acceleration of the SVJ is actually pretty good, even though it's a car at a lower rank of like 40 points lower than the Kings of the Bracket. Um, or let's say just top of the bracket. The acceleration is pretty good. It's just the top speed that does not, you know, hold up to to the other higher rank cars. But man, I'm just waiting, Game Love. Whenever you want to buff this, or not buff, you know, just rebalance it. Oh, no, you little mother... Ugh. We're okay. We're okay. I was... It's fine. It's fine. I'm not bothered by this. Oh, someone wrecked. Oh! Oh, ripped to those two people. Oh, this is it. This is my opportunity. Don't, don't mess it up, DBT. Don't mess it up. You can keep a second place. In spite of the mess. Man, does that mean that if I didn't... If I hadn't wrecked earlier, would I have gotten the first place? Maybe. Maybe. Could have, would have, should have. At this point, it doesn't matter. All that matters is to not mess it up too hard. And we should be able to keep the second place. Here we go. Here we go. Second place, baby. All right. <sighs> All right. So, the Regera beat me, but I did beat a Lycan Hypersport Halloween Edition. Two Centenarios. And that's it. Hey, I'll take it. It was one of the centenarios, right? The one that fell down from the sky all wrecked and made me wreck? I think so. Rio de Janeiro. Let's see what we can do over here. Short track. Over here, honestly, I'm curious. If I were to start at pole position over here, would I be able to keep that position? Maybe, because like I said, the acceleration on this car isn't terrible. And I start pretty much at the back. Oh, rip! Sorry, buddy. Did not mean to, but you know. That is just gonna help. Get out of the way, you silver lightning piece of... Oh, you stupid mother... Mm. It's fine. This is so much fun, guys. I'm having so much fun. No, I really did this fun. It's just annoying. I really... I really wish they were to bring that game mode from... Whoa. Whoa, I did not drift for that. I don't know how that happened. Anyway. Um, I wish they were to bring that mode from Asphalt 9 where um, it's called Unbreakable, meaning there's just no knockdowns. There's still collision. There's people still... You again? You? It's fine. All right, this is it. We're back into German land. 
with a German-ish car. This is our last race for today. It's the make it or break it moment. It's the moment to prove the superiority of them Lambos, even though this is an underdog Lambo, but still. To be fair, like I said earlier, um, at this point I'm racing against people with a bit more experience, so easy it ain't, all right? Oh, Jesus. Hold on, I'm trying to focus over here. Let's see if I can do anything worthwhile. Though, <clears throat> it seems that everybody had a pretty good start, so it doesn't seem likely that I'm gonna be able to get much out of this race, but hey, you know, at this point we're just trying, we're just hoping, and that is the life of the underdog. You just clutch your pearls and hope for the best. I hope that somebody messes it up over here and gives me a... Oh, there we go. There's one mess up. Ah! Then I mess it up. God damn it, DVT. God damn it. Whatever. I mean, I, it's because I'm an underdog, you know? It's not because I suck or anything. It's, it's all good, man. It's all not that good. Well... As Jeremy Clarkson would say, in that terrible disappointment, that's where we're ending this video. But before I go, you know what I like to do. I'm gonna invite you to check the House of Rooms, which is my Discord server. Link is in the description. We talk about this game, Asphalt 9, and all of that. But that is what I'm leaving it for this video. Thank you very much for watching, everybody. And I will see you in the next one. Take care and stay safe. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm.